daddy daddy da the tree praise to the tree sitters for they have sat in a tree for up to a year at a time but then the loggers come and take them down this is the story of woman you know we've been missing in action for so long we have gotta take the dive into our consciousness because there are still places left like this that are beautiful and our waters need to be preserved where we can be the waterlings that we are when we're not on the earth and the earth is crying crying teardrops and we have to sustain ourselves we have to have our lives and our families and everything despite the onslaught of patriarchal damage and GMOs and poisons. It's time for us to dance ourselves into the future that we want. We need to listen to the tribal people, the Aborigines, the original people that know how to live on the earth. We need to gather in the garden of global consequence and talk amongst each other upon how we're going to save this humanity of ours because we can't save the earth. We need to go to the tree of creativity. We need to know that in our old age we can love and enjoy the earth as we were meant to. We need to get these missiles that face this earth and destroy it off the planet. We need to revere the activists that fight against it and we need to take these war profiteers who kill our children randomly and get rid of them. We need to think about these people who are in these wars that we fight. We don't fight them, they are fought by and with our tax dollars I don't want this. I don't want that blood on my hands. We need to look at people like Mary Kelly, who grounded a jetliner on its way to Iraq with poisonous gases on board. Again, let's go back to the tribal people that have the knowledge, the shamans. Let's ask them what we need to do. Let's look at the goddess with the fly swat. Hey, man, let's just swat these religious fanatics, these crazy businessman CEOs that are robbing us, these warmongers, let's just swat them right out of the sky. We have the power to do it. There's millions of us. And look at morning in the rainforest, our virgin forests being destroyed at the rate that they are. That is not right. And then again, look, this is a self-portrait. This is something I experienced. It's a true story, the deer and the dolphin and the ocean in South Africa. I want to live like that, don't you? And then let's go to Gaza, Lebanon. Look at what is happening to people in a sovereign nation. Who said that this could be done to them? They do not have my permission to do that. We need to start giving gifts of knowledge, crescent moons that become full, and keep on giving. We have an IOU for our children, generations to come. They cannot inherit what we have given them in this world. This is definitely the fall, fall into a different realm where we need to worship this earth for what it is because this earth is gasping for breath living entity gasping for breath but again I say there are still beautiful places and spaces to be on this earth let's keep them hold them in high esteem work from them outwards let's bring down patriarchy all the rampant destruction and everything let's walk away from it don't give it any energy the water privatizing the water, all of this. Our water is the most precious element. Fracking is going to destroy our water. We have to have fresh water, otherwise we all die. We, there's a dispute at the global of, at the table of global consequence 
these thistles that are in charge that have no feeling, no soul, bomb anything, everything, get the oil, get the gold, get the diamonds, this has to stop. And we need to revisit Mary Magdalene and look at her and see what she said and what she taught. Look at the Gnostics and partner with each other. Let's do everything together. Let's not be split by male and female, black and white, and all the other divisions that are just constructed to make us enemies of each other so that we're not strong together. Because the world doesn't have to be like this. The world doesn't have to be a bloodbath. Let's dream again. Let's be earth dreamers. Let's rebirth this earth. Defy the money god. It's all just numbers on computers it doesn't mean anything your paper has no worth really let's look at the earth's resume closely and see what she's been through and what we've been through as humanity and let's not make the same mistakes again let's dance let's do the earth dance but at the same time, we can't ignore the sorrow and the pain of the earth, the beautiful earth, this entity, this being that is responsible for everything that we have, our food, our shelter, our survival. We need earth enlightenment more than anything right now. Anywhere you see any earth enlightenment, go toward it. And we need men to listen to women. Please, the Divine Feminine has been missing for too long. And we have to forget about profit over everything. Profit is profit. It is soulless. We need our humanity to return 10,000 fold. Our junk DNA to kick in so that we can become who we are. And then we can dance for Mother Earth's infinity. How beautiful.